Hey, Richard Fisk here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, well, everyone seems to be talking about FPV at the moment, don't they? Uh, the new drone from DJI, uh, it looks really good. Um, unfortunately, DJI haven't sent me one. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't got enough followers um, and I don't have enough money to buy one. So, um, I bet like uh, a load of you out there um, have had the DJI Mavic Air 2. Um, I've never used the FPV mode on the Mavic Air um, and as we know it does have it, it's normally set in manual mode and so um, what the Mavic Air and all the GPS uh, drones are very good for is for stable flight and that's why we buy them, the cinematic drone footage etc and photos and as you can see here on the on the uh, gimbal, 3 axis gimbal, if I move that around the camera will stay nice and steady no matter how I move the drone and that's a nice thing about why we buy these drones. Um, so no matter where you fly, the three axis gimbal will actually take care of the, the video for you. Now the FPV, um, it actually disables that um, function. So whatever happens to the drone, the camera will actually follow that angle. So uh, yeah, so I've never ever used it. And I bet probably 90%, 90, even more, 95% of you who own these drones have never used it either. So. If I can't have a proper FPV drone because I haven't got the money and DJI haven't sent me one, let's try it out. So, in order to get to the, the mode, what we need to do in the settings, go into the three dots at the top, Go on to control, uh, scan down gimbal mode. Uh, at the moment it's set for follow me. If we change that to FPV mode, we're all set to go. Right, so if you switch it into FPV mode, just a little uh, update. What it will do is it will fix the gimbal uh, and the horizontal mode. So if the drone moves, tilts left or right, the actual camera will tilt left and right with the drone. Ordinarily before it would stay the same like that. So that's the difference when you uh, flick over to MPV or FPV, sorry. Um, you'll still get the up and down movement. You'll still get that movement, um, but it will be fixed horizon and fixed with the drone. And that's what will give you the in-flight experience of flying like an FPV drone, even though it's not a proper one. So um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Right, so I'm out in the golf course for a little test. My golf was around. First thing, uh, double check is it will probably, uh, in control, go automatically onto follow mode. So, okay, so I think what I had to do is take off and then change it. I don't think you can do it uh, straight away. So let's take off. Right, so this is flying around normally, as you can see. Nice level horizon. So let's just change that over now. Should be interesting, FPV mode. And then, okay. Yeah, it's changing, it's tilting the horizon. Let's keep an eye on the drone a little bit. Oh, okay, you have to be quiet quite steady on the sticks then. It's very, very susceptible to movement. Right. And I think what I've seen as well is if you're very gentle when you're releasing the sticks again, it will even smooth out that movement. So let's go over here a little bit. I think also with the combination of the sticks, if you do the combination of the right and left hand sticks you can actually get a proper fpv tile effect and there see it's going it looks like it's going more sideways than actually flying this could take a little bit of getting used to i used to fly aerobatic radar control planes as well when i was younger so it's a, <laughs> a bit like that let's do combination stick left and right Trying to be nice and gentle on the sticks. And when you release them back again, if you don't just let go of the sticks, but actually ease them back to the center points, then 
it makes it better. It's quite fun though. See like we're going yeah, we're going sideways. Yeah, I think if you mm. <laughs> It's quite disor it's disorientating, it's not like flying normally, obviously. I'm trying not to go too fast, I'm trying to be really gentle. Let's fly, let's fly up there a bit. And then bring it back, so I've got some nicer sun shots. Okay, so... On the right hand stick I will go towards the right. And then I go forwards a bit as well. And let's try going up so I miss the hill. Don't want to crash. Yeah, well, let's follow along this ridge here a little bit. <laughs> it feels like I'm playing a video game. <laughs> it's really different. I don't want to go too high. I, I think the the nice thing about FPV is when you're flying close to something. So let's go around here. Let's bring it down lower. Oui. <laughs> There's a track up here. Let's go along the track. It's really cool, actually. I can imagine actually getting a full FPV drone, how cool it'll be. Because you actually got the goggles on and you're like, you're immersed in the uh, experience. Whereas with this, you're looking at your screen. But I know you can get a cheap set of like FPV goggles and you can connect them to your drone. And so let's try going around this way. <laughs> It's quite fun. We yeah, it feels like a video game. Let's bring it down lower. Um, yeah, as I was saying, you can get FPV goggles and you can connect them so that your phone goes into the goggles and uh, you use it that way. So it's not like a proper set, but I've seen other channels offering that option. I feel like I'm in a jet fighter plane experience, you know. Whoa, you feel like you crash. Oh, wait, let's hover. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, it's going to get a bit iffy then. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to crash my drone just for your pleasure, but here we go. Let's go along this path. Let's mind these people. It's quite sensitive to. Uh, You've got to keep moving it to get a real nice sense of uh, where it's, you know, getting the FPV feel. But hopefully you're liking this. There's no trees or buildings for me to fly around on. So I'm just going to fly around on these ridges and this path. And hopefully not crash. Yeah, I think you can get the hang of it a bit more. The combination with the sticks uh, is the main thing you want to do. Just using the right hand stick with the left hand stick. Let's dive bomb around here and then swoop off to the right. See if I can dive bomb down onto the golf course. Yeah, it's bring, it reminds me a little bit of flying a radio controlled plane. You're using the, uh, the, you know, like the Garado and ailerons and things like that. Yeah, that's nice. I think this will add a, you know, new dimension to flying. <laughs> Could add a new dimension to, to your videos if you're flying like normal and then add a little bit of this into FPV mode into your flying and your video. I'm getting a bit cocky now, I think. There we are. 
let's come back this way. I think uh, I'll call it a day now. And uh, yeah, that was, that was really cool. I really like that. So I'd suggest definitely, I'd definitely suggest Definitely suggest trying FPV. Um, yeah, give it a go. It's good fun. Uh, take a good bit of flying and get used to the controls, etc. But uh, yeah, give it a try. And thanks for watching. Yeah, that was really good fun. I really, I really enjoyed that. Uh, definitely, definitely suggest if you've got one of these, put it in FPV mode and, and have a little play. Um, and with the controls. Uh, it's, I don't know whether or not you sort of use them in, in conjunction going the same way or in opposite. I, I couldn't quite work out what was best uh, to turn the drone and to get a, a nice, nice smooth turn as opposed to just sliding you know, sideways or, or uh, left or right. But um, yeah, hope you liked the video. Uh, as always, leave a comment, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. It always helps the channel. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.